Hey, what's up? I'm Adam with Aerial Motion Photography. In this video, I'm doing one of my self-proclaimed world famous best side-by-side -side drone video comparisons on all of YouTube, testing out the brand new Freewell circular polarizing filter for the Mavic 3 Pro. I wanna say thank you to Freewell for sending me this kit. And if you're interested in it, there's gonna be a link down in the description. On the right side, you have the side with the Freewell filter and on the left side, without a filter, straight from camera, no color correction, same day, same time, same location. This is Long Beach, California, a beautiful day, perfect day to test this. And we're gonna see what kind of results this Freewell circular polarizing filter delivers. Polarizing filters help in a few ways, especially over water. They help reduce glare. They can also increase some saturation, some contrast, definitely make things look a little bit more punchy. And just starting out looking at the footage, those are some of the results that I can see. There's definitely a different color in the water. Without a filter, the water looks a lot more blue. With the Freewell filter, it looks a little bit more bluish green. So let's go full screen and see what's going on. Just like we saw before, well, there's a seagull. And that's happened to me like all day. So definitely have to be careful watching out for those. It is just a beautiful image. The Mavic 3 Pro puts out amazing footage. And I feel like with this filter, just more colors in the water, you can just kind of like feel more depth to it. And then let's switch to the medium tele camera. So that's that new one that came with the Mavic 3 Pro and it's that 70 millimeter equivalent. And what I'm looking for when I switch between the cameras is to make sure there isn't any kind of color shift. So the Mavic 3 Pro has three cameras on one gimbal and the circular polarizing lens covers all three. So right now I'm at the 7X and I'm very impressed with the quality that the circular polarizing filter has because I don't see any kind of color shift or weirdness around the corners. And then back to the medium telly. This is a pretty good one to look at. The sky looks good on both of them. The colors look good on the boats. And then here is the Mavic 3 Pro with the medium telly, no filter and then switching it back to the Hasselblad. Just crazy how much distance you can cover with that 3X and then even more with that 7X. And then now flying back in to get to the next location. The biggest thing I notice every time is the color of the water. And here is a cool parallax. I just love the compression and seeing all the different levels. And then here's the Long Beach Convention Center with this really cool painting by Robert Weiland. He's a super good artist. It's called Planet Ocean. That's why I like filming these tests down here because it really puts these filters through its paces. So we have the water, we have the harsh sunlight, and then also these windows. So polarizing lenses are supposed to help a lot with reflection and glare. So here we are. Let's really take a peek at these and see what kind of difference. I definitely see a little bit more clarity, some punchiness with it. I love seeing footage side by side so I can really tell if there's a difference. I like to do that with like all my gear. And then here we are with the Ferris wheel. The sky is a little lighter on the Freewell filter side. The colors are a little brighter though. And then on the no filter side, like I've been saying is the Mavic 3 puts out an amazing image. And now just quickly going downtown, you'll see the fake roller coaster. I wanted to fly the closest place to me with the most glass and reflective buildings. So that's where I went. So this is down Ocean Boulevard in Long Beach. And if it looks familiar, there's been a lot of movies filmed here. There's like Fast and the Furious, Dexter, a few other things like that. And also the Long Beach Grand Prix. So there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on here. This footage is split right down the middle. Let's look at the sky. So the sky is darker on the filter side and then farther down the boulevard we go. A beautiful place to fly. I think I've already said that like three or four times. Maybe I edited a couple out, but it really was a beautiful day. And then the building with the most windows side by side. Drop down in the comments what you guys think about this reflection. I'm not gonna put any of my opinion out on this right now, but let me know what you guys see. And this is at 150% zoom. 
Okay, so now we have some bonus footage. And then these shots do have color correction. So right here is with the 7X camera. And I'm mainly just looking at how cool the compression is. So I'm actually over the bay, shooting across the peninsula into the ocean. You can see the kite surfers, then you see the oil island, and then in the background, you can see the Queen Mary and the cruise ship. Very, very impressive. It's so cool to have a drone with three cameras. I do wish this camera was sharper and better, but it is still a lot of fun to use and you can get some cool parallaxes. And then this clip is cool just to show how tropical I feel like the water looks. Really cool for Southern California and you can just see the sand and just more depth to the water. And then going over the peninsula and then flying into Naples Island. It's really cool just seeing people in the Duffy boats putting around and then there are actually gondola rides so you can have a gondola take you through the canals and if you're in Long Beach I'd recommend it. It's a lot of fun and they sing to you and you can have cheese and wine and it's beautiful. I recommend bringing a blanket if it's a cold day though and it's just beautiful. I love just the saturation and the colors that the filter is really helping with. So this is using M-Log and the Freewell ND PL16. So it's the polarizing lens with the ND16 in it, and that really helped me bring the shutter speed down. So I had the shutter speed about one over 100, and I was flying at 30 frames per second. So pretty close to the 60 frames. I put on the ND32 and it was too much. What I like about this M-Log is it's really easy to enhance the colors so much better than D-Log and I think it looks really cool. I'm still practicing how to color grade it. And then here, just for fun, is in the HLG mode. You can click up above, I made a video with regular footage versus HLG. So if you wanna check that out, click up above. And then we're just gonna end it with this cool revealing shot. Medium tele camera. In the far, far back, you can see Marine Stadium. Then you see Naples Island, that nice boat flying over the peninsula and it's just a beautiful day and I love doing these kind of tests. If you guys found this video entertaining or educational, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like these and then check those notifications so you'll be notified when I upload my newest videos. As always, my name is Adam. Fly safe, take care, peace.